So, dear students, today we'll be discussing modular arithmetic. Okay. So, first one, congruence. So, let A and B be any two integers, with M being the positive integer, and then A is congruent to B. To modulo, if M divided by A minus B, that is M divided by A minus B, or A and B are having the same remainder when it is divided by M. Okay. And suppose A congruent B mod M. So the meaning of this is with 0 less than mod B less than M. Then what is it? 2023 is equal to minus 1 mod 4 and 2023 is congruent to 3 is mod 5. So properties A just like we studied in our class 12th, right? Relation functions, reflex symmetry and transmitting. Same thing, A congruent A mod M, reflexive. A congruent to B and B congruent to A, symmetric. This mod M. Mod M I'm not repeating again. Then A congruent to B mod M and B congruent to C mod M, that is A congruent to C, that is transitive. So this basically, if you see ourselves in the mirror, second part is two persons are there, they, cha they change the chairs. A sits on B's chair and B sits on A chair, interchanging part, that is symmetric. Transitive. Transitive is nothing but in the Facebook, there is mutual friend, right? Correct. For example, uh, two persons are unknown, but we both have mutual friend. Then we can send to a friend request to the other unknown person because there is a mutual friend. That's the thing. A to B and B is a mutual friend here. Then A and C also can be friends. That's transitive. A congruent to B model, that is A plus C. These are the properties. It's called B plus C. And AC and congruent to BC. Fifth one, A1 plus A2 is equal to B1 plus B2. A1, A2 is equal to B1 plus B1, B2. Sixth one, A power K is equal to B power K model. Then P of X is a polynomial with integer coefficients and A congruent to B model. Then P of A congruent to P of B model. So let's see an example of that. 3x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 5. 5 congruent to 2, mod 3. So what I'll do, instead of this x, I'll put the what? The 5. 5 square. And also I'll put what? 2. Yes. So 81 I'll be getting. Second one I'll be getting 15. 18 congruent to 15, mod 3. That's it. <coughs> then GCD of a comma m is equal to gcd of b comma m similarly n by m ratio then a co a congruent to b mod m so i'll see an example here 39 congruent 3 mod 12 and 4 by 12 is nothing but what 39 congruent 3 mod 4 Okay, so 4 by 12, n by m ratio. Okay, n by n, where m is nothing but our 12, n is nothing but 4. So I can say that this is what if n by n ratio, 39 congruent to 3. Then coming to GCDF m comma n, relative prime or co-prime. So those who don't know who is what is co-prime, I'll tell you in a nutshell. 8 and 15. Are they prime numbers? No. But if I take the factors of 8, what is it? 2 comma 2 comma 2. 2 cube is 8. 2 into 4 is 8. 8 into 1 is 8. But if I take 15, 5, 3. 3, 5 is 15 and 15 and 1. That's it. So what is the common factors between 8 and 15? Only 1 is the common factor. So those Numbers are called co-prime. Okay. So example is the given 15, 1, mod 3, 16, 1, all of this. GCD, 3 and 5. 1, co-prime. 3, both are prime and they are also co-prime. C is a positive integer, then C A congruent to C B mod C F. Okay. Then if AB congruent to AC mod M, 
then GCD of a comma m is equal to one. Then B congruent C is nothing but mod M. The linear congruence. If A, B, and N are integers such that A is not congruent to zero mod N and X is some unknown, congruence AX congruent to B mod N is called linear congruence. So the linear congruence is the input AX congruent to B mod M. And it has a solution if d by b where d is nothing but gcd of a comma n. And if d by b, then it is mutually incongruent solutions modulo n. And if gcd a comma n equal to 1, then congruence has a unique solution modulo n. To solve ax congruent to b for unique solution, it's a given what ax congruent to b mod n. Step one, find GCD a comma n. Step two, if GCD of a comma n is equal to one, and then ax is equal to congruent to b mod n has a unique solution. Okay, and then x plus one is equal to a u plus n v, and if this a uh, n v is here constant and this will go this side, it will become this. Step four. A congruent to 1 mod n. Multiply both the sides by b. So A into B u and B into mod n. So X is equal to B u. That is a mod is the required solution. Find the number of solution exist with respect to following. 8x congruent to 12 mod 20. So GCD, 8 and 20. Okay. 8 and 20 is equal to what? 4. And 4 by 2. This n by m is there, no? Correct? Yeah, same thing. So it has got what? 4 solutions. That's it. 9x is equal to 15. So GCD of 9 and 27. 9. 9 is the Biggest thing. Okay. So here also, if you don't know GCD, 8 and 20 GCD is 4. Okay. 4 5s are 20 and 4 2s are 8. So obviously, 4 is the greatest common divisor. And here it is 9. 9 1s are 9 and 9 3 is 20 is 9. So that's 7. And more 27. And 9 by 15. 4 by 12, yeah. 4 solutions are there. 9 by 15, no solutions are there. 7x. <coughs> 7x congruent to 2 mod 37. GCD 737. 1. So unique solution. Okay. 9 and 15. If I take 9 and 15. There is no solution in that. Euclid's algorithm. 32 and 54. So 32. 32 is 32. Remainder is 22. And this 22, I have to again divide what? With the divisor. Then I will get remainder. Again this. Till I get 0. So this is the Euclid's division. Okay, so the last non zero remainder is what? Last non zero remainder is 2. So GCD of 32, 54 is thick, but 2. Then I have to express this in the form of 32u plus 54v. So this 2 is thick, but 22 minus 2 into 10. Substitute that thing. Okay, so which is basically what? Whatever I am getting. Fifty four twenty two into two fifty four fifty four minus one into thirty two minus two into what thirty two minus one into twenty two the same thing as you can see here no how do I get twenty two these values only I am substituting here two value is here that's it. okay.
and minus 2 minus 1 minus 3. That's how we are getting this minus 3. Then. Rearrange everything. I'll be getting this. Instead of 22, again I'll put 54 minus 1 into 32. Then I will get u and v value. This u and v value I defined. That's all simple thing. Similarly, GCD of this number. Do the long division method again. So I'll be getting 58. Then write down whatever is here now, write it down. Then I have to get what? Just like the earlier problem, we got it right. This is 32 and 54 is 2. So similarly, write this u plus this v is equal to what? 58. So 25520 and 19310. So if I'm taking from this, Six nine six minus one into six thirty eight. What is six thirty eight? See this six two zero six substitute here. What is six ninety six? Here also six ninety six minus eight minus minus plus so nine six ninety six minus six zero two zero six. Now it's just six ninety six. You can put what one nine three one four here minus three into six two zero six. Minus 3, 9 into 3, 27. Minus 27, minus 1, minus 28. Then again, instead of the 6206, you put this value here. Then ultimately, you'll get 25520 minus 28. Minus our UNV value is minus 28, 37. So all the following linear congruences, 7x congruent to 2 mod 37. A is 7, B is 2, and N is 37. GCD, you find a unique solution. Express it. D is the thing about AU plus NV. Okay. 7 so is expressing it. What is it? 1 is equal to 7 minus 3 into so what is 2? 37 minus 5 into 7. Substitute here. Even v value I'm getting. Then if a u congruent to 1 and mod 7 into 16 is equal to 1 congruent mod 37. So multiply this b equal to 2. So 7 into 2 into 16 is equal to 2 mod 37. 7 into 32 will be getting congruent to 2 mod 37. So x is nothing but 32. So I just verify it. go through these things. Similarly, next question also. 11x is equal to 4. 11x congruent to 4, mod 25. A is 11, B is 4, N is 25. G, C, D of 11 and 25. 1. Unique solution. Do the same method. 1 is equal to what? 3 minus 1 into 2. Now what is my uh, 3? 25 minus 2 into 11. Correct. And what is my 2? 11 minus 3 into 3. Substitute everything, you will get UNV value. Pause the video and see. Do it, then only you will understand. Next, AU congruent to 1 mod n. 11 minus 9 congruent to 1 mod 25. Multiply B is equal to 4. 11 minus 10 into 4 is equal to 4 more 25. So minus 36. So 11x is equal to 4x is equal to minus 36. More 25. So x is equal to 49 will be getting. This is 25 by x plus 
36, where at least x should be equal to 40. Okay, then only I'll be able to get the answer. So it's as simple as that. Phi x congruent to 1, mod 4. GCD of phi 4 is equal to 1. A is equal to phi b 1, n is equal to 4. And then u and v value. A congruent to 1 mod. 5 into 1 congruent to 1 mod 4. Multiply by b is equal to 1. 5, con 5 into 1 congruent to 1 mod 4. X congruent to 1 mod 4. 3x congruent to 2 mod 23. GCD of 3 comma 23, you find it out. So obviously it is 1 co-prime. Then do all the Euclid's division method. Find u and v value. Then a u congruent to 1. 3 into 8 congruent. Try the question there. Mod 23. Multiply b is equal to 2. 3 into 8 into 2. 2 mod 23. x is equal to 16. Now to solve x congruent to b mod n, weight is equal to g c d a comma n. So first find d is equal to g c d a comma n, and if d greater than one, check d by b to find solution. Divide one by d. That is a by d into x is equal to b by d mod of n by d. Now g c d a by d n comma d is equal to one unique solution. Then let x is x congruent to t mod n by d. Solution of x congruent to b mod n is what? x k t plus k minus 1 into n by d mod n. 